viewers and welcome back to the self made auto channel I got our first ever SMA quick tip video this was an idea brought to me by one of our viewers one of the live streams says you know basically if we don't have time to do a full video on a vehicle we should do just a little quick snippet of what's going on what happened what fixed it and psh, out the door so we're gonna do that and that's exactly what we're gonna do here we got this 2013 Ford Fusion and every light on the dash is on everything except the check engine light oddly enough uh, customer complaint is, you know, ABS light, track light, track off, parking aid light, uh, loss of power steering, uh, you know, higher steering efforts, electric power steering, uh, and evidently all this happened at once, which I drove the car, and it does, the light's off, and all of a sudden, bing, 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 all lights are on, just like that, steering efforts hard, at any rate, I checked it out, and I took a picture for you, so driving down the road, one of the things that you will notice is well i should say it had a bunch of abs codes in it so let's start there we gotta start somewhere let's check there driving down the road looking at all four wheel speed sensors and you can see i'm starting and stopping starting and stopping but look at this wheel over here which is the left front and it is stuck at 158 mphs and then all of a sudden it kind of half works goes half back to normal and that is when all the lights go out so one thing i've always preached is service bulletins special service messages. When do you check them? Early and often. That's the answer to that question. Bring the car in. Here's the symptoms it's exhibiting. Get yourself a little bit of data. You know, I pulled all the codes. We had 17 codes in general, I believe it was. You know, everything from battery voltage codes, uh, wheel speed sensor codes, lots of U codes, lots of COM codes for invalid data received from ABS. And you know, right down to uh, you know the power steering control model receiving invalid data from the ABS uh, and stuff like that. So we won't go through each one of those. Needless to say, I checked the special service message. Ford had one, led me right straight to the problem. No real diagnostics. Didn't even pull out a meter or a test light or anything. Now what they indicated is a problem at these wheel speed sensor connectors in the harness. Oddly enough, I did not, almost did not believe them. So they say within you know three to six inches of the harness, you're likely to find a pinhole in one of the wires and it's gonna be corroded. And this wire harness was completely intact. I removed all the tape from it. There's no poke holes, there's no nothing. And I'll be jiggered, they were 110% correct. Because as you can see here, the green pus in one little teeny tiny hole causing all of these issues. So what we're gonna do, of course they want you to replace the entire harness I haven't given it the old uh, Keith Tug test yet, but we'll take and do that. I just peeled that back, couldn't believe it. Ultimately, we could have figured this out, but you know, we may have had an hour into it by the time you know, we get out of scope. These are active wheel speed sensors. Scoped it out, seen what was going on, and there it is. There is your broken wire. There's my fix. Cut it off, stripped the back. It was barely green, just in that one little spot. Soldered, heat shrink with sealer in it. Gonna let that solidify, retwist my pair, get the cover back over top of the wire, the poly loom, get it taped back up, clip back to the bracket. No idea what poked that wire, but obviously Ford knows about it or they wouldn't come out with a, you know, an SSM on it. So kind of crazy. And I guess the best part of this, or I guess the part that should be learned about this quick tip video is service bulletins, special service information. You know, a lot of the stuff you can look up online. We have a pay service that we use to do it. So if you work in the shop, you know, before you get down, you know, snaking down rabbit trails, yes, this could have been diagnosed. However, like I mentioned at the beginning, you know, you could have had, you know, an hour into this. Time to identify it, you know, kind of disregarding, you know, all these other U-codes and stuff, which could, you know, give a guy tunnel vision, you know, chasing after that. Let's look at the fault at hand. She said all this happened at once. Let's look at that, you know, the wheel speed signal. It's obvious. You're driving down the road. Out of all the codes, you know, we see, you know, this is not right. Three wheels work, one doesn't. We can look, like I say, you see these are active wheel speed sensors, probably run on, you know, that 11 or 12 volt range. Uh, real small amperage changes, real small voltage changes. We could have thrown a scope on it and said, you know, what's going on here? At that point, I would have assumed we would have seen our loss of, you know, supply voltage trace it backwards we would have found it had a broken wire but you know like i said you could have had an hour into it so definitely when you get codes you get a little bit of directions before you get real far service bulletins early and often
looks like a fix out here on a test drive just ran it up to you know 55 60 no dropouts no glitches most importantly no lights on the dash before you couldn't make it a mile from the shop and this thing lit up like a Christmas tree no more codes that's it I'm gonna call it a fix that's it folks hopefully you enjoyed this first ever SMA quick tip video I guess that's what we're gonna call them hopefully we're learned a little something in that a little something I hope that you learned is regardless of what year make or model you're working on you know when you're doing it and you get some direction you gather some data take a minute stop check some bulletins if there's a bulletin on it and it's gonna you know kind of fit your criteria you know your symptoms something easy to check out go for it you know in this case it only took a minute you know one piece of tape yep you know there it is boom we found it if it wasn't there I'd cut right back to my conventional test methods which we talked about earlier would have found the problem ultimately it just saved a whole bunch of time so hopefully you pick that up uh, from that and learn that uh, so that's it guys find us on socials patreon subscribe ring the bell you know what to do and just remember viewers if i can do it you can do it thanks for watching